So you want to mint the new Decentral Games Ice Poker Drop. Well, my friends, you've come to the right place. You can finally stop searching. In today's video, I will show you guys how I have successfully minted four different Ice Poker Drops and exactly how I'm about to mint my fifth drop today. Yes, you do have to jump through a few hoops, but it's definitely worth it. So let's go ahead and dive right into the video and get you set up to mint your first ice poker drop. So prices have been going up on these drops. Today's drop was probably one of the more expensive drops so far, which is 0.75 Ethereum. So if you're wondering why you would pay that much to mint this wearable, if we pull up the Decentral Games Ice Poker OpenSea where people are selling their wearables, you'll see that the floor price, that means the lowest price right now is 1.69. So that means that if you wanted to, you could literally mint today's drop and resell it for a 125% return on your investment. So basically there's three steps that you need to take in order to be able to mint. The first one is you need to buy at least 1,000 DG. Once you buy the 1,000 DG, the next step is to stake it on their platform. Once you do that, the final step is to wrap your Ethereum in the Polygon network. And after that, you're basically done. All you have to do is make sure that you're eligible and get ready for the drop. All right, so the first step is to buy XDG. The simplest way to do this is to simply go to quickswap.exchange. So once you're here, you have to have the Polygon network on your MetaMask. If you don't have MetaMask, go to Google, type in Chrome store, click the Chrome web store on the top left, type in MetaMask, click MetaMask, and then you're just going to add it to Chrome right here. This is the easiest way to set up your MetaMask and to be able to use it. If you're using the Brave browser, you could do it the same exact way. If you don't have the Polygon network on your MetaMask, again, go to Google, put how to add Polygon to MetaMask, click that first link and just literally follow these steps and they will show you exactly how to add um, Polygon network on MetaMask. So once you have that set up, all you have to do is switch from your Ethereum main net over to Polygon. Of course, the first thing you need to do is send over some Matic to your wallet. So that's as simple as buying some Matic on whatever exchange you use, then basically copying the address right here to clipboard and sending it to that address. Once that's done, the Matic that you have in your wallet should show up here. Remember the Matic has to be on your MetaMask. And then you're simply going to add how much you want to buy. Remember that you do need some Matic to pay for gas fees. So leave a little bit just for the gas fees and then hit switch to Matic. Once you have your XDG, now you're going to go back to Decentral.Games, click on DAO. Once you're on the DAO, just scroll down to the bottom, hit where it says stake your DG, and this is a page that will come up here. So remember, we're staking on Polygon, so go over right here to where it says Polygon, and you should see the bottom here that says stake DG, so then just go ahead and hit that. You will have to probably pay some more gas fees, but once you follow all the steps, after a few minutes, you should see it pop up here like this. So just kind of refresh um, the page and make sure that your XDG is now being staked here. So the next step is going to be sending Ethereum to your MetaMask wallet and then wrapping it in the Polygon network. However, this is only if the mint is in Ethereum. If the mint is done with ICE, then you're going to be going back to quickswap.exchange and after buying the XDG, you're going to also buy ICE. So all you literally have to do is type in ICE and you'll see that the ICE will come up. Again, same thing as buying XDG. You put the amount that you want, leave a little bit so that you can pay the Matic um, gas fees and then go ahead and do the swap. You'll know you did it correctly if you go back here to Decentral.Games, click on my account, go to uh, my account here again, and on the bottom you will see that it says ICE and it tells you the exact amount that you're holding currently. And uh, so I currently have over 8,000 ICE. The amount of the mints are usually 8,000, but they could vary. So now if the mint is in Ethereum, then we have to get wrapped Ethereum. So to send Ethereum to your MetaMask wallet, the same steps that we covered before on Matic, except we're going to do it on the Ethereum mainnet. 
buy Ethereum from whichever exchange you prefer. Make sure you're on the Ethereum mainnet simply copy this address right here and send it to that. Once that's done, the next step is go to Google, type in Polygon, or you can type in Polygon.technology. What we're looking for is this right here, Polygon.technology. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. Once here, we're gonna go to use Polygon, and then we're going to go to Polygon Bridge. So once this is open, you're going to, again, go to Polygon Bridge. You, of course, have to connect your MetaMask wallet. Once you connect your MetaMask wallet, it will look something like this. And basically what you're going to do here is switch your Ethereum over to Polygon. So if this does not say Ethereum here, just simply click the arrow and type in Ethereum, Ether, select it, hit uh, the max amount that you would like to send over and then simply hit transfer. Once you hit transfer, it'll look something like this and it's going to tell you it's going to take seven to eight minutes. You're gonna hit continue. It's gonna tell you some numbers and it's gonna give you an estimate of your gas fees and the transaction fee, but um, it's never this exact amount. Uh, I think usually it's more around the 30 to $40 um, for the fee for the gas price um, to switch it over. Now I already did mine, so I'm just going to show you a picture of what it looks like once you um, process and confirm the transfer on your MetaMask. It will look something like this. It's going to say approved and it, then it will say confirmed and then you will be on this window for about seven to eight minutes before it is completed. You will also see that it will say pending right here. Now once it is completed, you will see that it says transfer completed successfully. Um, it will say completed here and this will no longer say um, pending. So at that point, you're all set. The last step really is to just confirm your eligibility. If you see that you're eligible, that means that you've completed all the steps correctly. And now you just got to sit back and wait for that drop. Hope that you don't get any token errors and that you're able to successfully mint one. Alrighty guys, so we are getting ready here to finally do the mint. We have about less than two minutes uh, before the mint gets started. Now, the first thing you always want to do when you're preparing to do the mint is check eligibility. Make sure that this says you're ready to mint like it does here. Make sure you have enough Ethereum on the polygon and enough DG state. Now, if you're doing an ice mint, then uh, this will instead say ice. Just make sure you have enough ice. Again, you need to still have enough XDG state here in order to be able to mint. So once you've confirmed that, basically what you're going to do, you just kind of wait here on the page. So what I like to do at this point is just pull up my clock and literally count it down here. As soon as that uh, mint time opens, I will refresh um, the page one time and then I will try to mint. So here we go. Two, one, mint time. So I'm going to refresh one time. Just let this load up. All right, so let's mint. So this is where it gets a little tricky. Um, sometimes you might get some sort of error. Let's see what happens here. Just waiting as we see we got that minting error. So that does happen sometimes. I don't know why. Let's try it again. And sometimes if, if I'm getting that error multiple times over, I'm going to try to mint something like, like a different wearable. Maybe there's an issue with this one. Maybe too many people are trying to mint the same wearable. Maybe it ran out. So uh, just kind of move on to the next one. I'm looking at the chat. Uh, people are getting that same token minting error. Now we are whitelisted, so we have a five minute advantage. I got an APR timeout. I don't know why. Let's try something different. Token minting error again. Again, we're gonna exit, try a different one. Uh, I, I see people saying star sold out. So um, you're gonna try to mint something different. That's what I figured. I figured everyone was going to try to get that star. Token minting error. Oh my God, let's try to get a hat. They say that the token minting error is due to the polygon gas fees, which is unfortunate. And I'm seeing that uh, the Ice Chef is actually sold out already, so we did not get one. Everything is sold out. <clears throat> so as you guys can see, you can't always get it um, if you run into those token minting errors, unfortunately. Um, it happens. This is only the second time out of six different uh, mint drops that I've tried that I haven't been able to actually mint one. 
So unfortunately, this time around, we were not able to mint a drop. We kept getting the token errors and the drop literally sold out within the first five minutes, even with the whitelist. So we were whitelisted and we still could not get the mint. We weren't able to mint the drop. It's unfortunate and it sucks. But so far, we've been successful four out of the six times that we've tried to mint a drop. So uh, we have a, there's another drop coming up in a week. So we will prepare to try to mint that drop. Hopefully we get better luck that time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If there's anything that you did not understand, make sure to drop it in the comments and ask us there and I will be more than happy to help you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button on this. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. If you were able to mint a wearable, then good luck at the tables. I will see you on the next one. As always, peace and love.